So, how much do you know about television? What do you know about television? Anything. Try to say anything better, please. That you can see news. Yeah. Movies. Wonderful. That's good. And what about football game, football matches? Yeah, you can see that as well. Okay. Thank you, better. And it was wonderful participation of you, actually. Thank you. And let's go to Hassan Al Amri. Hello, Hassan. Hey, singer. Hello. Hello. Good morning, man. Um, hello. Good uh, morning to you, are, are, are you in a good tempered yeah. now? Are you in a good tempered? Yeah, I am. It's okay. I think you something strange about you today because you began your class with singing. <laughs> I, I don't know why, actually. <laughs> but I hope it's okay. <laughs> I hope it's okay. Think. I'm sorry. I know it's okay. I hope that you didn't drink anything bad or drug or something, please. <laughs> no, no, no. no. <laughs> okay. Don't worry. Okay. Hassan, we're going to listen something about, um, you know, a brief overview of the history of television. Yeah. Now, let's listen to the first um, at least five lines, and I'm going to make a discussion with you. Ready? Uh, already. Okay. A brief overview of the history of television. Television was not invented overnight by a single person. The work of many people over a number of decades contributed to its evolution. In the early days, two distinct... So, Hassan, true or false? True or false? The invention of television was in one day by just only one person. No. Really? That's okay, very good, because, you know, more than one person, okay, yeah. contributed to this, contributed to this. Schools of thought in technology influenced different researchers and the course of their investigation. The first one was based on the technology of Paul Nipkow's rotating... Could you tell me what is the main idea of the, the first paragraph, Hassan? What is the main idea of the first paragraph? the main idea or the main topic of this paragraph you can make it from the, the, the first, first uh, person who was uh, con uh, con uh, contributed uh, with the uh, television history yeah thank you that's wonderful answer very, very good contributed to television or yeah. television history okay in the early age of, how can I make how can I make the topic from the first two lines like that in the early days, two distinct schools of thought in technology, okay, influenced different researchers and course of their investigation. So the researchers about television, I can make it like that. Researchers, okay, uh, about television, it's okay. Yeah, yeah an investigation of television. Okay, Hassan Amri, thank you. I appreciate it, man. Now, well, let's proceed. Discs that supported a mechanical television system, and the second one on a person. The work of many people over a number of decades contributed to its evolution. In the early contributed, contributed. The man, all long, <laughs> all days, they could they, they, they sit, sit like that, contributed. No, it's contributed, contributed like that. Okay, try. To yeah, be sure that you say English good and your pronunciation is good, no problem. At all. Days, two distinct schools of thought in technology influenced different researchers and the course of their investigation. The first one was based on the technology of Paul Nipkow's rotating discs that supported a mechanical television system, and the second one on an electronic television system that used a cathode ray tube. So here we have two kinds of television, actually. We have two kinds of televisions, okay? The first one, like that. The first one is that one was based technology of pole, Nepal's rotating disks rotating disks 
that was the first television actually supported mechanical television system and the second one this is the second one sorry i can't control the pen actually the second one is the electronic television system that based cathode ray or mobile cathode maybe you studied it in physics i don't know cathode youtube ray tube okay so these are the first two kinds of or source of television let's proceed developed independently by two inventors Campbell Swinton and Rosing. Yeah. Paul Nipkow, 1860 to 1940, who invented the Nipkow disc. Okay, let's ask the second one, Radwan. Hello, Radwan. Radwan, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, hello, Gala. Radwan. Radwan, please, could you tell me what is the main idea of the third paragraph? How to make the main idea from the first or the second line? Huh? What is the main idea of the topic of the first paragraph? Huh? Yalla, mm. From here, from here, it's easy. Read it. Read uh, it. It's just more. In English, please. Not it's just more. <laughs> you can say what is name. Uh, not it's just more. Uh. Okay. <laughs> huh? Huh? From this. Pone, huh? Uh. 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 Paul Panko. Pan Paul Nepko, Nanko, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's okay, it's okay. Huh, 1860? Uh, 1940. Yeah, invented what? Invented what, huh? So Nepko. Nepko, yeah. This desk in yes. uh, 1884 uh, yeah. was the first person to discover the uh, Scanning. Scanning. Principle. The principle. principle. That's that's awesome. Right. That's fantastic. Thank you. You know something, Radwan? <clears throat> Sorry. You know something? This is the this is the main idea. Hey, the figure I say, okay? Nepco, who yep. invented what? Invented the scanning principle. Okay, who was the first one? Oh scanning principle. Mabda al scan. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Radwan. I appreciate your answer. And um Salman, yes, sir. Please be ready if you are ready. Okay, it's that Salman. Listen carefully. In 1884, was the first person to discover the scanning principle that allowed small portions of an image to be analyzed and transmitted. Yeah. However, it is. Wow, it's wonderful. You know, scanning principle. What did what did serve the humanity? Allowed small portions of an images to be analyzed and transmitted. Subhanallah. Okay. Allah, Allah told us what we haven't told before. You know, that is the, the fact here. Am I right, my dear students? It's a general answer. Open answer. Am I right? Allah told us what we haven't told before. In the Holy Quran. Hello. Are you still there? Let's choose one, Salman Yasser. Hello, Salman. Okay, the next one. Safe Sehli is absent. Safe, are you still absent or did you come? Did you enter the class? Safe, Abdullah. Okay. Safe, I don't understand okay. you, my teacher. Okay, yeah, yeah, I know that. Thank you. So, Ab talking Arabic. No, I'm sorry, man. Abdurrahman Al Amudi. Hello, Abdurrahman. Yes, teacher. Hello. Good morning, Abdurrahman. Good morning, teacher. Okay, man. Abdurrahman, I'm gonna ask you something here. Okay, look at look at the, the the screen. Can you see now the reading now? Can you see the lines? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna ask you a question about this principle allowed. What the scanning principle allowed us to do? This is the question. Uh, a small uh, huh. portion. Yes, very good. An image. Image, huh? To be what, huh? To be analyzed. Analyzed, yeah. Analyzed and, and trans submit, huh? transmitted. Thank you, transmitted. That is my answer. 
A wonderful answer, Abdurrahman. Thank you, Abdurrahman Al Amudi. Please, all of all of the, all of my students, please take care and pay attention to the reading. Okay, listen and follow by your eyes. It's unclear whether Nipkow actually built a working prototype of his television system. Electronic television is based on the. Here I'm have I have a question. Prototype of his television system. What does it mean? Prototype. Could you tell me prototype? The meaning of prototype, please. What does it mean? This word, prototype. Do you have any ideas? Maybe Mr. Uh, Abdelaziz Sawad. I think is absent. Abdelaziz Shaibi, are you still absent or did you come? Did you enter the class? Shaibi. Hello, Shaibi. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, Shaibi. Shaibi, prototype. Do you do, do you have any idea about the meaning of prototype? I'm going to tell you something. Prototype of the television was made of wood. The first prototype. So prototype means, I'm, I will give you three choices, okay? Prototype means um, item or first model. First model. Excellent, man. Very good. Wonderful answer, Mr. Abdelaziz. Bravo, Abdelaziz. Fair prototype, it's the first model, which means the first model. Thank you, Mr. Abdelaziz Shahibi. It was excellent answer, actually. Well, in English, please, please, in English. Sorry, man. Uh, on the chat, if you have an idea, okay, man. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, electric, electronic television. Now proceed. Development of the cathode ray tube, which can still be found in modern television sets. Philo Farnsworth. 1906 to 1971, was the first inventor to transmit a television image, a dollar sign, using the dissector tube, which is the basis of all current electronic televisions. The American engineer started experimenting with electricity when he was 12, when he built an electric motor and produced an electric washing machine. He was still in high school when he conceived of his ideas for television. What about this man? This man, Philo Transworth, Philo Transworth. I'm gonna ask you a question. Uh, let's choose um, Abdelaziz Gisami. Are you still absent? Or did you enter the meeting? Okay. Abdel Malik Al Amari. Oh. We have something on the chat. It's okay, Abdelaziz, don't worry. I'm going to ask you only one time or maybe two at least. Okay. So don't worry about this. Only one time I'm going to ask you. So it's okay. Don't worry. Okay. Well, uh, Abdul Malik. Abdul Malik Al Amari. Okay. The next. Uh, Ghalib. Hello, Ghalib. Are you, are you there? Good morning, Ghalib. Good morning. Good morning, Ghalib. I, I just say, I'm just saying good morning. Good morning. Okay, Ghalib, look at the screen, please. Look at here. Look at here. The last line. Okay. And I'm going to ask you a question. Uh, I will give you a sentence and you say true or false. True or false. Okay. 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 Well, feel France words was in the university when he discovered ideas for television. He was in the in, in university, at university. True or false? False, sir. Very good, because he was in a, huh, in huh, uh, high. high school. Thank you, Ghalib. I appreciate it, man. Bravo, Ali. Thank you, Ghalib. Okay, let's proceed. A lot of people wrongly believe that color television is a recent idea. In actual fact, the earliest proposal for color television. Okay, another student, Mr. Muhammad Turki Raddadi. Hello, Muhammad. Good morning. I am here. Good morning. So you are here, okay, man. I'm waiting for you. Muhammad, true or false? Ah. True or false? Look at this line. I'm going to tell you a sentence and you're going to say true or false. 
Is it okay? Okay, answer me now. Ask me, not answer me. <laughs> Ask me, guys. <laughs> okay. Um, color television is a recent idea. True. Uh, <clears throat> fault, fault, fault. False. Very good. Thank you. Because they told you wrongly. It's okay. <laughs> wrongly believe. Yeah, I'm not going Thank you, Mr. Muhammad Turki Radadi. I appreciate your answer and your presence, your You're cooperation. Welcome. Okay, man. Let's proceed. Television was patented in 1904, while in 1925, Zworykin filed his proposal for an all-electronic color television system. Commercial broadcasting, however, started in the early 50s. Okay, my, my question is about this paragraph. What is the main idea of this paragraph? Uh, the next one is uh, Muhammad Jabir. Hello, Muhammad. Hey, did you get the mic or, or not yet? Did you buy the mic? I'm gonna call your dad man. believe me. I'm a jabber, hello, Hamoud. Hey, did you wake up? You're still on the bed? Okay, the next one is Mahmoud Ala, absent. Muaz al Farsi, I think is absent. Muhab is absent. Muaz Adil, hello Muaz, good morning. Hello, 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 sir. Hey, in English, please. Hello. Hello. So, Muhammad Habidi, okay, you didn't uh, buy it. You haven't bought it yet, so please tell your dad, please, daddy, please get me a micro microphone because teacher Rahid is, uh, is upset about that, okay? Tell him that. Okay, Muhammad? Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna tell him. <laughs> okay, you tell him, not me. Okay, Muhammad, thank you. Moaz, could you tell me the main idea of this oh. paragraph? Ah, so this. Could you tell me the main idea or the main topic of this paragraph? It's easy. Huh? From the first line, you, you can get it. From the first line, you can get the main idea or the topic. Ah, uh, what? It's easy. I think uh, <laughs> television. Television kids, generally? Huh? Color, color television. Yeah, the color television history. Tarikh. The color television history. Thank you, Moaz. I don't love watch TV, so I you don't, don't have an uh, idea for this. Really? Yes. Okay, thank you. You don't have idea, but you just to... just just watch uh, football match. Okay, only football matches. I think maybe in uh, the next the next ten years, TV will be neglected. Okay, will be left because uh, everything is on the internet now. Muhammad al Abidi he told me I'll, on my news, it's a Saudi proverb or Saudi dialect. On my news, man. On my news. Ala Khashmi, and I'm gonna. The answer is, uh, you know, the fat, the fats, or the greasy on your news. Ali Hishaham, or or Mahshum. Am I right, Habidi? Is it good answer about this? Ali Hishaham. Answer bear. Hey, I'm gonna tell you this about it. Okay, next one. Fifties a quarter of a century later. John Baird, 1888 to 1946, is a researcher who is best remembered for inventing a mechanical television system based on Nipkow's scanning disk idea. Actually, his work included a number of technological milestones in the history of television. He created the first televised pictures of objects in motion, 1924, the first televised human face, 1925, Okay, I have a question here. When was the television, the first television, a human face, okay, monitored? When was the first television, a human face, monitored? When? Which year? I'm going to ask Mr. Naif Al Harbi. Hello, Naif. Are you still there? Good morning, man. Naif Al Harbi. Okay. And what about Wael Sulaiman? Hello, Wael. 
Are you still there? Still with us? Wait, well, man. Okay. We have Badr Al Amudi again. Badr, good morning. Hello, are you still there? Still with us? Morning. Yes. Hello, Badr. Okay, Badr, please tell me. Uh, here, 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 here. This is the information which I asked you about. When was the first television, human face, the first television human face monitored? When? Uh, 1984. 19? Uh, 24. 24, yeah. Or another one. Hey, he created first television pictures. Actually, 1984, the first television pictures, objects, okay, in emotion. But, huh, the first television human face, when? Uh, 19, uh, just me. Uh, <laughs> just me, yeah. 19. 1925. 25, okay. If you are in, in America, you can't say, which is, oh my God. <laughs> if you are studying in America with American guy or American teacher, uh, teacher, um, uh, which is, <laughs> he's going to ask you, what? What are you saying, man? Okay, thank you, Mr. Badr Amudi. Okay, let's proceed. Color television, 1928. Stereoscopic television and television by infrared light that were presented and demonstrated before the 1930s. Vladimir Zworkin, 1889 to 1982, the inventor of iconoscope, a transmission device, as- Hassan al-Amri again, hello. Don't run away. Hassan, hello. Hassan al-Amri, are you still there? Yeah, I'm there. Okay, Hassan, please, could you tell me? Look at this paragraph. If you have if you have your breakfast, it's okay, man. Am I bothering you or disturbing you? No, no, no. It's okay. Don't no worry. What? Actually, I, I, I'm okay. I'm have, I, actually, I'm having my tea now with a Kit Kat. Do you like it, Kat? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm having Tami. Tami? Oh my God. Tami, it's Egyptian. <laughs> it's Egyptian dish, actually. You, you can say it like that. Green burger. It's a green burger, sir. Not Tami, okay? We developed it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. What is the main idea of this paragraph? Huh? From the first three lines, at least. That one, that paragraph. I'm waiting. Hey, I'm going to sleep. Mm. Okay, so uh, okay, ask me again. Okay, what is the main idea of this paragraph? I had that from the first three lines. The first three lines, actually. Okay. Uh, uh, the yeah. Is the uh, iconoscope. Yeah, the inventor of iconoscope. Iconoscope. Thank you, Mr. Hassan. Well, as the kinescope, yeah. i.e., the cathode ray tube, in 1929, was one of the first to demonstrate a television system with all the features of modern television, otherwise called the tube. The tube yeah. Most people in Britain that use the word tube to refer to television fail to make the connection between the television set and the cathode ray tube. I have a question here. Why people in Britain use the word tube about television? Hey, well, who will answer me, Radwan? Can you get the answer, Radwan? Can you get the answer? Radwan or Abdurrahman Al Amudi, Aziz Al Shaibi, Ghalib, Muhammad Turki, Muaz Adil, Muhammad Al Any one of you or Hassan, even you, Hassan. What? 
what, what is the answer of this I listen, question? I listen, I listen my name. I heard my name. Okay. Uh, what, is the, me. what is the answer of this question? Why people in Britain use the word tube to refer to television? Huh. Why? Because it didn't have uh, anything. I think it's shortened. It's shortened answer. Not accurate, inaccurate answer, huh? Another guy? It's here in your paragraph. Look at the paragraph. Read the paragraph to here. Make, oh, okay, okay. To make okay, con okay. connection. Uh, to make what? Yeah, very good. To make the connection. To huh? make the connection between the television set and the... Cathode, <laughs> huh? Cathode. <laughs> Cathode. Great, you. Thank you. Cathode. Oh, thank you, Abdurrahman Al Amudi. You're the first. يعني اي ايجنيشن سبارك انت كنت الشعاع الشراره الاولى للاجابه ومعاذ اخذ منك الشراره وصور حريقه اوكي ثانك يو بوث اوف يو nor do people stop and think about the meaning of the word television which refers to the transmission of images over a distance in 1929 zworkin became the director of electronic research at radio corporation of america rca and was later promoted to vice president in 1947. Zworkin invented many devices, including the scintillation counter, a device for measuring radioactivity. He held more than 80 patents and received numerous awards for his work. Lewis W. Parker patented the intercarrier sound system in 1948, which is now used in all television receivers in the world. Without it, televisions would probably have been too costly for most people. The plasma display monitor was invented in July 1964 by professors Bitzer and Slotow and their graduate student Robert Wilson. However, successful plasma television became feasible later after the development of digital and other technologies. A factor that delayed the commercial development of plasma display was connected with LCD, or liquid crystal displays, which made flat screen television possible. This minimized one of the advantages of plasma television in terms of a flat screen with an improved image. So it has taken a lot longer for plasma display to become more widely acceptable and accessible. Until recently, a plasma television screen was regarded to some extent as a symbol of affluence or status along with other possessions. Internet access is available. Along with adequate hardware, more and more viewers appear to be switching over to their laptops or desktops to watch films and other programs. Channels. The key. Television has so far been fairly well established. It remains to be seen how digital technology will affect its evolution in the future. Okay, thank you. Now we have uh, the questions. You can answer them from the YouTube or from the broadcast, daily broadcast. On my channel on YouTube, English Another Shape. Okay, or in the daily broadcast or tomorrow inshallah we are going to complete thank you my dear students i i appreciate this wonderful class